Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today this video is about the Rishi's lemma of the functional analysis. So let's talk about the statement of the Rishi's lemma. So let we have a normed space N and M is a proper closed subspace of a normed space. So the Rishi's lemma states that if M is a proper closed subspace of a normed space N and we take a constant or we have a real number in between 0 and 1, then there must an element in N and we named that element as XA. So there must an element x in that normed space such that the norm on that element the norm of that element in n is 1 also the norm of the difference of this element with every element of m must be greater than or equal to that a picked from this interval 0 to 1 and this is true for all x in M. So now again, what is the statement of the Rishi's lemma? If we have a normed space and we have a closed proper, proper closed subspace of a normed space and we take a real number in between 0 and 1, then the claim is that there exists an element corresponding to that constant or that uh, corresponding to that real number in N whose norm is 1 and whose norm of the difference with all of the elements in M is greater than or equal to that specific A from that interval. So let's start the proof. So firstly we have to take an element from N that is outside from M because M is a proper closed subspace of N so we can take an element outside from M. So let we take x1 from n that is outside from m and put that difference, the norm of the difference of this element with every element of m that is x is equal to, so I think I should put infimum here because we have to take the minimum distance of this element x1 with every element of x. So let D be the infimum of the norm of the difference of every element of x, of every element x of m with the element, the specific element of n that is not in m. So this D should be greater than 0. Because it is a norm, it can be equal to 0 and it can be positive, but it can't be 0. Why it can't be 0? Because if it, if it is 0, then this whole e thing equals to that infimum of this whole thing equals to 0 and and eventually we get if, it, if d is equal to 0 then we can have x equals to x1 but x should not be equal to x1 because we take x1 out from that m otherwise x1 should be the element of m as well so we can't take d is equal to 0 d should be positive in order to in order to assert this thing as true. So we can also write here that d is greater than 0. Let's take a constant from 0 to 1 and if it is a constant between 0 to 1 then the relation of d by a and d. What is the relation of d by and d? Because d is a positive number and a is a number that is in between 0 and 1 so this thing is greater than d d by a should strictly greater than d now we'll use the property of infimum uh, that there is an element there is an element in m so let specify here that there is an element x not here so we say that by the property of the infimum we can write the norm of the difference of this specific element taken from m with this element taken from n outside from m 
is less than or equal to d by a so this is by property of the infimum that this thing happens where x naught is taken from m x1 is taken from n by m now we'll put put x a that is an element corresponding to that a that we have fixed in between 0 and 1 so let this is equal to x1 minus x0 by norm of x0 minus x1 is why we have take this x a because we are looking for an element whose norm is 1 and that must be in n so this is just the definition roughly speaking when we're talking about the unit vector so this have a norm 1 now put this thing also c is any constant that is equal to x1 minus x0 and the norm of it so let's see equals to this thing now if we have this relation and if we have this relation then we can then we can write that c is greater than or equal to a by d so this is what because this is one over norm of x1 minus x0 so we can write this thing that c is greater than or equal to a by d where x a is in n and the norm of x a is equal to 1 now for all x that are taken from m we can write that x minus x a so the norm of the difference of x minus x a is equal to x minus if we substitute the value of x a here that x1 minus x0 and this 1 over this thing is equal to c so c times x1 minus x0 so now we if we take c out from it we have x by c plus x0 minus x1 i'm taking x uh, x0 here and x1 that is have a minus sign and x1 is here so here x1 is not an element of m because x1 was taken from n by m here x this is true for all x in m so this is the norm that is for for any x in m we have this thing so x is an element of m c is a constant we have this value of c plus x0 x0 is also an element of of m so because m is a subspace so this this thing this element is also an element of m so if this is an element of m any element of m minus x1 any element of m minus x1 is always is always greater than d so we can write that this thing is greater than or equal to c here and d so this whole thing is greater than d so we have c and d and we have the relation with c and d as c is greater than or equal to a by d so we have we have this thing is greater than or equal to we wrote a by d dot d so if we cancel d here we get a so this x minus x a the norm of the difference of x minus x a is eventually greater than or equal to a that is a number in between 0 and 1 this is what the target was that we are looking for an element whose norm is equal to 1 and that was taken from n and the norm of the difference of every element of m with this x a is is greater than or equal to a that is a constant taken from 0 to 1 so this is the proof of the Rishi's lemma in functional analysis and and this is for now you can for most of the videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye